Well, indeed, but our warthogs have disappeared and <laughs> little Shongile is curled up in a tight ball and, well, Mvula is still sitting, surveying his kingdom and look at his eyes. He's got the most amazing eyes. Now, earlier when I linked to Taylor, I might have said Hosanna. Well, I think I said Hosanna and Shongile, so we don't have Hosanna here, unfortunately. But, well, hopefully one day he'll be as big as Mvula and will live as long a life as Mvula has. And wouldn't it be fantastic if he also arrived? Now, where are you going? Let's see what happens here. It'll be interesting if he comes down. So, Michael, you're wondering if I think Mvula would react differently if it was Hosanna instead of Shungile. Well, yes, I think so. I think it would be very different. Now, it looks like he's going to come down the tree. Yep, there we go. That wasn't very graceful, Mvula. I think so. I think a young male would be a, a very different prospect to a big adult, I mean, uh, to a young female. And so you might find he might have been a little bit more aggressive. And look at Shungile. She thinks maybe he's gone and that she's got a chance to now go and get in. Look at how she's sitting upright. And doesn't that remind you of Karula? How many times have we seen Karula sitting like that before? I don't know why. For some reason, when she just stood up like that, it just reminds me of her a lot. I wonder where he's going to go settle now, if he's going to just go and lie down somewhere. If she tries to go up, I would be surprised if he let her go up and feed her. I'm pretty sure he'll growl at her if he does go up. And let's see what happens. See, she's chuffing a little bit. Now, the chuffing sound is just her talking to Mvula, just to say, you know, I'm here, don't chase me so that he doesn't get upset with her. And she, he can watch her. He's busy seeing her now, and he's not too phased by it. He kind of just looks around and is not really very worried at all. He's now actually looking at the squirrels instead. Where are you going to go, boy? So you can hear the squirrels' alarm calling in the distance, so he's just listening to that. The warthogs have run off at the thump of a leopard landing on the ground next to them. You've had a very eventful 24 hours, Mr. Mvula, from hyenas, dead hyena that he was seen with yesterday afternoon to now being in a sighting with Shongile and a daika kill. Maybe it's all been too much and it's now time to go and find somewhere to rest in the shade. He's got beautiful places to go and lie. In fact, the old hyena den of Mvubu is just in front of us here. So it's a nice big termite mound that's full of shade and you'll be able to see his kill from there. So I wouldn't be surprised he goes and just kind of sits on top of that termite mound and rests there. There's also a number of other big trees in this area that he can find shade. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm, I do want him to move off a little bit so that little Shongile maybe can sneak up that tree quickly and be able to then get the food and get a little bit of a meal. So there he goes. He's just slinking off. I think he's going to go find himself somewhere to lie down. Shungile, are you going to move now? So Shungile is still sitting patiently. And so while we see how this all plays out, let's go to Mr. Scotty Dyson all the way in the Masai Mara, where I believe lots of stripy horses are lining up on the banks of a river and potentially might start crossing. 